Welcome to another video for Global Scholarship for International Students and we'll be continuing on with our Australian Scholarship Series. And instead of doing a university that you never heard of, um, we're just going to go into University of Sydney and we'll be covering the undergraduate scholarship for the University of Sydney. So we're going to exit our presentation and cover just a little bit, a little overview what the University of Sydney it really is. So if we look at our post um, in uscollegeinternational.com, um, University of Sydney is one of the best universities globally and the best in Australia and has enlisted all the ranks uh, that University of Sydney acquired. And not only is its academic superb, but also its campuses are one of the most beautiful campuses in the world. And the campus is ranked in the top 10 most beautiful campuses by the Huffington's Post. So as you can see, not only is academic, um, it's one of the best, um, but its campuses are one of the best in the world also. So um, that is a little bit, little overview of University of Sydney. We're just gonna get into um, University of Sydney undergraduate scholarship. So if we click on the Google search engine, we're just gonna start from there. We're just gonna type in University of Sydney scholarship. And if you type in University of Sydney scholarship, um, you're gonna see this link, but don't click on that link. Click on the scholarship for international students, um, which is right here. And if we click on that, um, it, it's, it leads us to the website that says scholarship for international postgraduate. Since we're looking for undergraduate scholarship, we're just gonna hover and we're gonna click on the international students down below. So if we look at that, um, uh, we're just gonna click on for undergraduate coursework opportunity, click here on, you might be uh, you might be wanting to click on scholarship open now and literary prizes. But if we look at it right now, from my timeline, um, most of it are for, for um, Australian citizen, Australian permanent residents, or New Zealand citizens. So it's not applicable to international students. So we're just gonna skip this and we're just gonna go to the undergraduate coursework opportunity. And if we click on that, um, it has a list of scholarship on top and it has what every scholarship covers down below. So um, it has a background and the vice chancellor international scholarship are awarded to exceptional international students. So as you can see from the from the starting point, it lists that it's for international students and has the value and duration 40,000, 20,000, 10,000, and 5,000. And application process is very simple. All eligible students with an unconditional offer by the round closing date listed below will be considered. There's no separate application for the scholarship, but all eligible students will be automatically be considered. So there's no um, there is no limit to how many students that they're gonna receive for the scholarship, but um, you have to apply. It's basically undergraduate application. You need to turn one in basically before the deadline listed below. And if you turn that in, you don't need to have a separate application for the scholarship. You will be automatically considered if you're an international student. So um, if you look down below um, for, if you wanna see the application process, um, it has a background and open to um, a specific group, which is um, Indian, um, people from India. And it has the open date and it has the closing date, is, which is closing very soon. So if we click on apply now, um, it leads us to the application portal, but it's very simple. Um, let's see. Okay, so we're just gonna try that one more time. Okay, so as you can see, um, the University of Sydney India Scholarship, you fill in the personal detail and the student identification number is given when you fill out the um, admissions. So, one way, one way or the other, um, all these scholarships involve doing the undergraduate application first, but we just did a little overview for the scholarship so that you know what you're coming up to um, when you're applying for University of Sydney. So as you can see, um, this is um, 
little bit. It's a little, um, this is like a small group of scholarship um, that is for the intended major listed on top. So if you can apply for any of these scholarships, do apply. And there, since there is no limit to how, to how many scholarships that you can apply, apply for many scholarships as you can. So I hope you enjoyed. But before we stop, um, I'm just going to quickly do a little overview that how to find um, your tuition fees for your program. So if you click on study and you click on international students and scroll down, click on essentials, the paying fees. And if you click on that, um, you're going to do the tuition fees right here. But um, your tuition differs from courses to courses. So we're just going to click on tuition fees, individual course information page. So as you can see, um, you can choose from any of these. Um, but you need to make sure that you're on undergraduate. So if you click on undergraduate, um, it has all the lists of undergraduate. Just make sure that you're clicking your own major. And if you click on your own major, whatever major that is, uh, it's going to lead you to the page where you can look for um, okay. Mm. It's kind of lagging right now. Okay, so if you go to the course page, um, you have the, um, let's see. It has the fees down below, but it's not showing me. Okay, so as you can see under your fee, it has a amount of tuition fee that you need to pay and it differs for international students so make sure you check that out but um getting one of the scholarships such as vice chancellor international vice chancellor international scholarship the first one will be almost like getting a full to full ride um, so make sure you check on the tuition fees for your program and I'll see you in the next video covering the undergraduate admissions for the University of Sydney.